Today we are going to construct an inexpensive and quick to build crosscut sled from an MDF board. Stay tuned. Good morning fellow woodworkers, where well, you come back to another video. So let's get straight to the point of the video. I fucking hate this table saw right here. This has been my first one. It was like 80 bucks and you can just see what terrible quality it has. The, <laughs> the fence was made out of aluminum. Every time I apply pressure to it, it tends to bend and this is not good. You can't get any kind of square cut with it. Also, due to the vibrations of the table saw, which it does all the time, it's losing its screws and it's just not stable overall. And the most terrible thing is the tracks that you get right here are so tiny you can't recreate any kind of good sled for it. This is why I decided to buy myself a new table saw, one from Einhell. And this table saw right here has everything that I want. It has a nice table, okay, it's made out of very durable aluminum, but thick one. Also, you can get cuts which are really square to the table, okay, 90 degree angle. Also, it got nice tracks such that I can create fences. And one of the most important things out of all of this, I got a nice measurement here where I can measure and put this nice and stable fence to it. This is good because this way I can get nice cuts. And what I want to do is I want to create a simple crosscut sled today. I think it's called a crosscut sled in English and that's what we are going to do today and you can follow along and build along and build one for yourself. First, I took two scrap pieces of spruce which, by coincidence, fit perfectly into the tracks of my table saw and planted them down with my Japanese cutter till they were flat with my table saw surface. Next, I shorten them to the length of my tracks with my hand saw. And once that was done, I took a 1.6cm thick MDF board and marked my cut. I wanted the sled to be as wide as the tracks were long. And all of this happened when my dogs were going nuts in the background, by the way. What the hell are they doing? After securing the board, I attached a quick jigsaw fence to get a square cut. Want to know how that works? It's actually pretty easy. Link to my video on the topic can be found on there in the description. Once the cut was done, I chamfered the edges of the board a bit and then removed the divider from my table saw. We need to raise the blade into the sled later so the divider would get into our way in some point. So definitely make sure to remove it at first. After it came off, I installed the plate again for my own safety and proceeded with the building procedure. Next, placing the sliders into the tracks and then laying the MDF board on top of it. I made it really sure that everything was square before screwing everything in place. Then, I marked the middle of the sliders on each end and connected the dots. The guiding lines are where my screws will go in by the way. And then I really screwed it up when fastening the board, like literally screwing. There was nothing else to it. Last but not least, our sled needs to keep its shit together after being cut in half. For that reason, we place a connecting fence on top of it, which will also serve as our 90 degree crosscut attachment. Making that boy really smooth, using my planner and chamfering its edges a bit for the memes. I then attached it to the front of the MDF board, once again making sure that everything is highly square with the MDF factory edge. Just for your information, a tiny error in placement will mess up your whole sled. Your cut just won't be square to the plate anymore. So really make sure to go at it slow and carefully here. That's a very important step. On the opposite side of our fence, I also secured another connecting block. And last but not least, I raised the blade of my saw carefully into the sled and made my first cut through the whole jig. And now we are going to answer the most important question. Will the piece that I'm going to cut with the sled be square? Let's find out. Now let's find out, this right here is the part where I cut through and now let's use the square right here, okay it's an old one and 
Oh, this is really surprising. I can't even see light shine through it. This is actually really surprising. I thought that it would be not as accurate as I intended it to be, but it's even more accurate than I thought, so really surprised about it actually. And uh, that's about it. If you want to see more DIY projects and woodworking, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to share the videos around for more exposure here on YouTube. You know, YouTube algorithm only supports channels which get a lot of views, etc. subscribers. So definitely make sure to support the channel that way. Also, don't forget to check out stemage.eu for more handcrafted products. Thank you very much. Please stay safe and don't forget to tune in for the next video. See ya. Have a day.